Good morning and welcome back to Math 7 with Mr. Passon. Today we are covering composite areas. This is in our geometry unit and it's lesson 5 in our plane geometry and similarity unit. A composite figure is made up of two or more shapes. We can find the area oh, helps if I spell that right of a composite shape figure by adding or subtracting the area of each shape. So let's look at these shapes here and think about how we could decompose them. Well we could break this one up. Now remembering that we only know how to find the area of rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. Uh, we could try to figure out the area of each one of these shapes. So one thing we could do is, this is an octagon. We don't know the area for an octagon, but we could form a square around it. Let me just go ahead and draw like the line around it. And find the area of that square. And we could subtract off the little triangles Right, so we could find the area of this sort of, oh, it would help if I made that square fit just a little bit better. Of this square around the octagon, and then subtract off those four little triangles that we see. Alright, and that would give us the area of this one. This one, well, there's a trapezoid, there's a trapezoid, there's a trapezoid, there's a trapezoid. Or we could think of this as one large trapezoid. This is a rectangle, and this is a trapezoid down here. So as long as we have the measurements for all these different pieces, we could have all the rectangles, and we've got a couple of circles. So every time we break this down, we want to say, hey, what are the shapes that we know how to calculate the area of that we can break it into? Sometimes we're going to take a big shape and remove pieces, other times we're going to take smaller shapes and add them up. All right, so let's look at this shape. We're going to decompose. That means break it into smaller pieces and then use a graphic organizer. That's our little table here to find the area of each shape. I'm going to start by saying, hey, let's cut this into two pieces. We've got our shape one is our rectangle and our shape two is our triangle. All right, so name, shape one, rectangle. All right, our shape two, triangle. Oh, I guess I could do all of shape one together. So enter formula, well, area equals length times width or base times height. I'm going to stick with base times height because that works for all the ones we plug in the value. It works for rectangles, parallelograms, and it's what we're thinking of when we're doing triangles. So our base is 9 times 8. That's going to equal 72 square feet. And remember, control period to get that superscript. Triangles. Well, our area equals uh, base times height divided by 2. All right. So that is going to be... Oh, let's figure out the height there. So this is 12, and this is 8. That means this part right here, our height, is 4. Right? That part is 4. Okay, so again, our base is 9. So our area equals 9 times 4, and then we're going to divide that by 2. All right, so that means our area there is 18, 18 feet uh, square. All right, so our total area is going to be 72 plus 18, which is 90 square feet or feet squared. Okay, let's look at this one. They already gave us an idea of where to break it 
down. So I'm going to cut it just like they suggested. Actually, you know what? Uh, we could cut it here and cut it into two trapezoids. Or we could cut it here because I think that 5 is meant to represent the height from the top of this line up to there. So again, we're going to do a rectangle and a triangle. So our rectangle, remember our area equals length times width. So what values are we going to use here? There's going to be a question. Go ahead and answer that question. Good. So our area equals uh, 15 times 9. We do that calculation. And we get 135 feet squared. Right? This other shape, well, what is the name of this other shape? Well, that's a triangle. And more importantly, you need to remember the area for a triangle. So, what is the area formula for a triangle? Area equals base times height divided by 2. Alright, so our area equals, now, our base here, well this was part of a rectangle, so it's our 15 times our 5 divided by 2. Now this one's going to be a decimal. Alright, so our area of our second one is, well, let's do 15 times 5 is 75. So that's 37.5. And again, that's feet squared. So my total area is 135 plus 37.5. That's going to equal 160, 172.5 square feet. Oh, sorry. These aren't feet. I wasn't reading the problem square meters. I got so excited because I was like, oh, it's another like house looking shape. I'm going to call that, I'm going to pretend that that's a house. So square meters. All right. So that is for that page. I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next page. All right, now it looks like I missed a few boxes here, so you're going to have to add in a few boxes if you want to keep these as good notes. A composite area also includes overlapping shapes. All right, so we could think of this shape here, uh, and it's out of text box here, as a rectangle with a parallelogram removed. Right. So this one, we see a trapezoid, so we find the area of the trapezoid. And remove the area of the rectangle. Oh, that was supposed to be area. Apparently I can't type today. There's very few days that I can type. Alright, so our area of a trapezoid, collect the, see if you remember the formula for the area of a trapezoid. Alright. So we have our two bases that we add together. Oh, made that a superscript. I need to make that a subscript. And that's control comma. And then we multiply that whole thing by the H. Right? So for our parallelogram, we've got 15 plus 10. And in fact, 
let me go ahead and put the divide 2 at the end because that's not going to change our answer but it is going to make it easier for us to do so let's do our 15 plus 20 15 plus 10 is 25 25 times 8 divided by 2 and if we think of that divided by 2 is multiplied by 1 half well we just do that and we get uh, 100 so that one is 100 square inches let's do it again so here is our trapezoid let's do our rectangle all right so our area equals length times width or base times height which is 5 times 7 which equals 35 oh. so our final answer is going to be 100 minus 35 which is 65 square inches oh I'll put the U and the A backwards square inches alright now a patio is being landscaped with trees and shrubs how many square feet of landscaping will be around the patio alright so we can find this area this area and then we want to subtract off this Ooh, let's see so a patio is being landscaped with trees and shrubs how many square feet of landscaping will be around the patio so we want to know the area of this L-shaped region and this L-shaped region so maybe we should find the area of this and subtract off the patio and the area of this and subtract off the patio so let, and ooh, those are exactly the same because that's 8 feet by 14 8 feet by 14 and obviously the overlap is the same so we're going to take our rectangle and we're going to subtract our smaller rectangle so we need to know the length of this side and the length of this side so let's take our big rectangle so big rectangle and in fact our shape is the L shaped region But we're going to have two of those, so we're going to multiply that by two. So I'm thinking of this region here. And we're going to take that big area, so that's a rectangle minus a rectangle. And that's going to be uh, 14 by 8, so area equals base times height equals 14 times 8. Our other rectangle. Well, that's going to be, again, area equals base times height, which equals, well, let's see how long this is. Well, it's 14 feet minus 3 feet, so that's going to be 11 feet. This length right here is 8 feet minus 3 feet, so that's going to be 5 feet. So we've got 14 uh, times 8, which is 112. minus 55 so that means that we get uh, what 57 square feet all right this one ooh well we have a square and half a circle. Alright, so we're going to start with our square and that area equals 12 times 12 well, S times S which is 12 times 12. Then our half a circle so our area is going to equal one half pi r squared or 
pi times r times r. Now remember that our radius is the distance from the middle to the edge. So if all the way across is 12, well then what is our radius? Good, our radius is 6. All right, so we calculate this one. This is 144. This one we're probably going to need a calculator for. I'm going to do it as a decimal. And we're just going to go ahead and use a calculator real quick. So for this one we get 56.62. Then we add those together. And we get that our total area is 206, uh, sorry, 200.62. And that's going to be square inches. Okay, find the area of the shaded region. Well, then we can take our square and remove the two triangles. No, sorry, remove the one triangle. We're looking for the shaded region. I was going to find the right region. So take our square and remove the triangle. All right, so area of our square, that is uh, area equals base times height or side times side, which equals 9 times 9. Then we've got our triangle, which our area is 1 half. Uh, base times height, so one half nine times nine. Oh, I should put a little equal sign in there. So that is uh, eighty-one, and half of eighty-one, which is forty point five, and we get that our total area is 40.5 square meters. Okay, summarize what you learned today, and that is what we are covering.